Also, an actress, a model, and a fitness personality, a fitness per spokesperson, um, and most recently, a winning chef on Food Network. So. Yeah. Wow! So, hello, my name is uh, Shay Brown, um, comedian, entertainer, TV host, aspiring actor. I'm gonna get there someday. My name and is Michael, you know, the son of Monday. Uh, my friends call me MC Mike. I'm a comedian, I uh, host events, and I'm here today to. Um, be part of this event. Hi, I'm Elise Nicole, and I'm a director, producer, single mom, and I also host a red carpet show called Beyond the Red. My name is Prospect. I'm a film director, writer, producer. All right, folks, we're back on today's panel. This panel has been wonderful, so good we had to bring a lot of them back. Yeah. <laughs> and today's topic, today's trending topic is Donald Trump. Hate him, or like him, whatever you think about him. The guy is surging and doing so well in, uh, in, the, polls, yeah. in the polls and um, in all the... What is this? The primaries, right? Yeah. What are they doing now? Primaries, right? Yeah. In the primaries, he's, he's doing well. I didn't think he'll go this far, but he's doing well so far, okay? The man has said a lot of controversial things. Some of the things he said, and I quote, were things like, he said, I'd like to punch him in the face. He was talking, this is at one of his rallies. And then he said, um, I'll pay your lawyer, lawyer fees. That's when he was encouraging his supporters to beat up somebody and said he was gonna pay the lawyer fees. fees. And things like, to, on today's show, we wanna find out what is your opinion about Donald Trump? So who wanna go first? Well, I think Donald is soaring that high in polls or in the primaries because it's speaking the mind of, I'll say the way it is, the racist white American. That's why, yeah, let me tell you, <laughs> Donald Trump is soaring because he's not being politically correct. And we know that a lot of things are being like, a deal for you in public, especially when you're like, you know, contesting like that, you know. And he just chose to be different. He chose to go rogue. And he's speaking to mind, you know, like you've wanted to say this. is like when white people want to say, nigger. And you've not had the opportunity to say the N word, and he's like, ah, let, me, let me just say it the way it is. And people are like, yeah, I don't want him to say that. That's exactly what is happening with Donald Trump. Talking about Mexicans like that, how they're being the one, the rapists and robbers, I'm going to build a fence and everything. You know, a lot of people agree with that, and that's why I say, yes! Because let me tell you, <laughs> he's speaking the mind of the racist white American. That's why he's swearing the balls. That's, that's my opinion. Okay, Nikki. You look like you're oh. ready. <laughs> I'm um, completely on a whole other level on Donald Trump. I'll speak on two things. I think that um, definitely his money did get him to a certain extent. Like, is he paying these people that, you know, he can afford it and stuff? I think that if he does become a uh, president that, uh, right, I, I think that... He has a, a, a mm -hmm. possibility? No, I'm saying that if he did okay. become president, I okay. mean, this is Let's California, but this is California, and we had free Arnold Plus Schwarzenegger. It, like, it, and I came here, I was like, really? It's a joke. So I think as a, we will then be looked at as a weak country, mm. as it being like a complete joke. Mm. That being said, I'm not even going to talk about him being racist and all that kind of stuff or whatever. It's just like... Um, I feel like this is all feeding, everything is energy, mm -hmm. and I feel like this is all feeding into energy, right? So, it's just like um, Mother Teresa said, I'm not going to go for, I'm not going to go uh, on an anti-war rally, right. because that will that will manifest more, and more war. Right. I will go to a peace rally, or something mm -hmm. like that. Right. So, I think that everybody is that continues to talk about, oh, you know, he's racist. I can't say, believe he said this about women, about Mexicans, about so-and-so. It's feeding all 
fall into this energy that's right. creating even more, just like when we were talking, not, not to say no, even talk about it, but I just feel like on, on the spiritual, uh, it's just creating and multiplying more and more and more to right. how did he get to where it is? It's because we're all in this same thought mm -hmm. of negativity and hate and stuff like that. So it, so it's almost like you would do the opposite. We don't want him to be president. We think it's going to be a joke. Then you know what? Then you should infuse love mm -hmm. in that situation right. because the minute love is infused in that situation, it dies out. Hmm. And then it, and then whoever is the actual candidate, you know, will wow. then become. Wow. Mr. So I don't want to speak on it. <laughs> <laughs> I told you mine gets deep. I'm not a I'm not a politician, but okay. I, I think I'm going to take a different direction. Okay. I've talked to a lot of people, and everybody's saying that Trump is not going to make it. Right from the onset, I told them this man can win the primaries because a lot of people don't want to say what. Donald Trump is saying. Mm -hmm. For instance, even African Americans, when you go to welfare offices, you find out that a lot of Mexicans are there. They've outnumbered them. And you go to um, DMV today, mm -hmm. they speak, they give you uh, two papers, one in Spanish and one in English. Even US citizenship, when you go there, they, they speak in English and they speak in Spanish. So you find out that the indigenous of this country, they're feeling like Mexicans are taking over. That's what I gather from them. Look on the other side. Uh, if the country continues going the way it's going, it's going to go down. If everybody keeps bringing their brothers and sisters and they're all feeding into the system. Mm -hmm. Nobody's looking into all this, but Americans, whether we like it or not, they're afraid of that. They mm -hmm. know that this thing is going to happen. Right. In England, uh, they, they put a law that when a, when a foreigner uh, comes into England to mm -hmm. have a baby, right. the baby automatically is not a citizen. Wow. Wow. Until he's seven years. Seven years. And seven years after birth. Yes. And since oh. then, he has cut down on the number of people. Uh, 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 and it's helping the economy. U.S., anybody can just jump in once you've crossed the border. The you government carries you. <laughs> so nobody wants to say that because if you say, nobody will vote you. And be, uh, believe me, I love uh, Hispanics, I love Nigerians, but let's look beyond what we are seeing. Mm -hmm. And the Donald Trump, I'm beginning to see him, uh, the way he started, he has fed the uh, Republicans what they want to hear, and he's rising. Mm -hmm. He may switch. So mm -hmm. he's feeding them what they want to hear, but less find a way to make in this society a better society. And that's what everybody is ignoring, right. the future. And that's why Donald Trump is making it, because he's looking forward to what is going to happen to this country. Wow. Nothing is done. Wow. Um, Elise, can you give us your take on this? I think the man crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's crazy. And... Um, because we don't really have too many candidates to really choose from, we have Hillary, who has obviously lied about a few things. Um, to be honest, I'd rather vote for an eight-year-old before voting for Trump. Really? That's to be serious. honest with wow. you. Um, if Trump takes over this country and he's the president, I think it's mocking this country. I honestly think it's embarrassing because we're looking like a fool. Um, other countries aren't going to look at us and take us seriously if Donald Trump. He made a few good points, mm -hmm. um, but I can't back him up because he is obviously racist against a lot of things. He's not making any really good valid points against anything mm -hmm. and I can't side with him. Right. So um, I think we're going to look ridiculous if we vote for him. And there are a lot of, there are a lot of people that support him, but who are we looking at? We're looking at the KKK mm -hmm. that support him. I saw a YouTube clip where somebody asked questions and made some quotes okay. and they made it known that they were Hitler quotes and people still supported them. So we have a lot of racism 
in wow. this country and they're supporting this man i want to like be on his side but he's so racist i can't you know and i'm fearful for this country and it's really embarrassing because nobody's gonna take us serious wow wow nobody's gonna take us serious honestly um I almost want to leave the country. I've heard a lot of people say they want to leave this country. Are you going to leave, leave country. if he becomes president? Uh, yeah, honestly, wow. because okay. he is going to do a lot of things. And maybe I'll stay long enough to hear what he's got to say. But I think he's going to just... I have a friend who quickened the citizenship pro, uh, uh, process <laughs> before he goes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, my son, yeah. throw that from my company. I'm asking to go back to Africa. So let me pass it. Wow. All right, Mike. Hey, let's all go to Nigeria. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. So this, so so this, this particular topic is right. very interesting to me okay. because I've said some things and I've, I've tried to go through some things mm -hmm. study wise about Donald Trump. Now, uh, I don't hate Donald Trump as a person, right. but I think the American presidency is more than just whipping up sentiment for Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Now, I hear people say he says it like it is. I hear people say, oh, and true, uh, so many white people are not able to say certain things that he, Donald Trump, is saying. Mm -hmm. But this is my take. Um, for a man who insults everybody, for a man who, who does not respect any other people mm -hmm. like culture wise is not in my own definition is shut of being a president of the united states for instance um some people say from another school of thought that if donald trump becomes a president one he probably is going to go to the white house and ask everybody oh what am i supposed to do because i've listened to his <laughs> campaigns mm -hmm. the man has no policy i mean over and over he's been uh, asked what is his policy as give us a detail what your policy is and every often he's been asked that he feels very attacked and he becomes belligerent he's not able to give anything in response mm -hmm. so i'm beginning to wonder what is he going to offer and it's not just coming up on stage because hey i need everybody to know donald trump is a marketer that's his brand he knows how to market and he's a fraud, like Mitt Romney said. Mm -hmm. And I can say this on TV because I have read some things about Donald Trump. Do you know the water that he was using to campaign recently? Donald Trump don't have a stake on that water. That water is made from another state. He has no stake whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It's just some people who make that water and Donald Trump, he, they supply that water to Donald Trump and he asks that his name be put on it, just like any other people who subscribe to it. It's not Donald Trump water. It's not Trump water. That's a lie. And then he said on national television, when you pay for lawsuits, people sue you more. Mm -hmm. And that's why he, Donald Trump, don't pay lawsuits. That's a lie. He's paid lawsuits, and people have come on camera to say Donald Trump has paid lawsuits. Talk about Trump University. Mm -hmm. It was a fraud. So this man is not only some, some individual who has laid the trend of fraud stars, mm -hmm. he's also a person who's competing for the highest office in the world. I think we need to look at him closely with our lights. I know he's appealing to a lot of people, you know, especially radicals, mm -hmm. because you must know the one man who's been accused of um, anti-black people and now he's anti-Jewish <coughs> people, David, I don't remember his name, David, the, the, the head of the KKK. He has endorsed Donald Trump and he's been playing games with denouncing that, you know, endorsement. So, gentlemen and ladies, um, I want to say what Obama said. He said, and I quote, see the way you want to. Talk about it the way you want to, but I do not think Donald Trump is going to be our president. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. I saw that video. I was, um, wow, well, I mean, Obama came out and openly said this. Well, this is my take on the whole thing. When this whole thing started, I thought, okay, Donald Trump has run like, this is like his fourth time, third or fourth time running. I thought it was going to be same business as usual. After the first couple of months, he's going to wither out and he's going to go get out of the scene. But I'm very surprised that he's done this well, this far. Okay, I'm not gonna stay here and endorse Republicans or Democrats. I'm the kind of person that go with, goes with the individual. I'm not, you know, if, if, if I see someone with good policies that I embrace, whether he's a Republican or, or, or Democrat, I will follow suit. 
Having said that, I'm not, I don't support or endorse Donald Trump in any way, shape, fashion, or manner. Um, there was one episode of um, David Letterman. Donald Trump was a guest, and David was asking him about his business um, dealings, you know, in China. Because Donald Trump is very outspoken about up, yes, American ending jobs business, in here. Correct, bringing jobs yeah. to America, ending right. every exportation to China, blah, blah, right. blah, blah, blah. blah. And um, guy, yes, David Letterman asked him, where's this tie that is a Trump, <laughs> Trump tie? He, he was so proud. He said, yes, this is Donald Trump, Trump's tie. Mm -hmm. He said, where's this tie made? Mm -hmm. He said, um, uh, yeah, maybe somewhere in Indonesia or something. He was trying to beat around the bush. D David Letterman told him, this is made in China. Mm -hmm. And it's like the man's face just... Yeah, he didn't all kind of, He acted like he didn't know because he was so embarrassed. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... You're a multi-million dollar guy, business owner. You don't know where your ties are made. The same China you're criticizing is. is where you're doing business. How on earth are you going to cut ties? Because I, I don't, that's why I don't believe the man is telling he's the truth. Right. Yeah. I think he's a politician. Yes. And I think Donald well, Trump not will actually yeah. sell this country to the he's highest right. Yeah. That's what I it's think. It's the same thing. Like, he's like, like you know, just from the entertainment world, how he has, he did the Miss America pageants and all that from, you know, from the model's perspective or whatever. Um, I Don't quote me on the actual, what the actual uh, policy is, HB something. But it's like, as in hiring, like he was saying, keeping the jobs here and hiring. Mm -hmm. Right. other and bringing them in mm -hmm. well majority of his models he gets from all over the country and right now there is a lawsuit from what? this model that is i don't know i don't think she's african i think she's um from jamaica or something like that uh -huh. and she's suing because like um he i guess when you come in for citizenship i don't know for your papers or whatever uh -huh. it says she marked full time and seventy five thousand dollars is the amount that she's supposed to have made, you mm -hmm. know, for the year or whatever after. But she was under contract to be here. So he already solicited out mm -hmm. of the country mm -hmm. and she came in and then um, she had been here for three years. So if you're under a modeling contract, you can't do any other jobs. Yeah. So she said she felt like she was a slave because after three years of working, her wages came up to like three thousand something dollars. Mm -hmm. Only? Yeah. And so she is. Um. Yeah. Uh, uh, are, you, so, are we okay? Yeah. Are we okay, Mr. <laughs> 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 are you are you moved by that? <laughs> 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 no, I think he has. So, the, <laughs> so yeah. So that's you know. So with him saying keeping the jobs in, it's like you're saying majority of your empires that are built are of the same people are you're claiming you're going to not that, do business, right? With. And we're so keeping the no jobs here. That's my there. point. That's my point. So, and you know, you know what's dangerous with Donald Trump? What I was saying is. Um, aside everything we're talking about, aside politics, um, Donald Trump is a brand that is dangerous for America. <laughs> because this is why I said this. Um, I heard the other day on the news, some youth were playing basketball mm -hmm. in a normal way. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, the white boys started chanting on the color people. Go to your country. Trump, Trump. Go to your country. Trump, Trump. Now, we can't have that in America. Well, okay, in, in Donald Trump's defense, did he know about it and did not denounce it? It could be something that happened and he had no clue. That's what I'm it's saying. It's his campaign. promotion, it's his campaign. They, That's well, what I'm saying. The how thing, dangerous. Well, the, well, the other thing the, on, the, on the, if you're looking at it, if we're talking about the, the races of it, is that they are now doing these chants mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. he's up there and they're actually doing rally. a salute oh, oh. that looks like it's a Hitler salute. And wow. then it's like, bring so oh. you can look oh. all that. There's something. There's something really else. Crazy. I'm going to say this and yeah. shut up. Listen, anytime Donald Trump is about to make a television show, mm -hmm. like go on stage and mm -hmm. say something, they actually have a rehearsal. Mm -hmm. The rehearsal they have is his fans have to shut people down when they're protesting. Mm -hmm. Have you watched any video Donald Trump saying something and somebody's protesting? Yeah. They crowd you and they go, Trump, Trump, yeah. they drown you out. Mm -hmm. That is what they do. They do a rehearsal before well, he even do does that. that. Wow. And you, some lady went viral, some, a picture of a lady went viral. The She's black. black. The yeah. black girl. That they had to fire a US Marine. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You see, so we US can't, have, that's, that's how dangerous this yeah. is. True. It's evil. True. And somebody, I heard this, um, well, I don't, I don't know the source of the story. They were saying that um, Donald Trump actually studied the way Hitler operated before he, you know, did yeah. the, 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 speech. Jewish, the, the, the yeah, yeah, his speech yeah. and before the Holocaust, right. that he would kept saying, Hitler kept saying, I'm going to make Germany great again. 
yeah. break the game. So he kind of modeled his, his campaign according to that kind of speech. Well, he keeps saying, I'm going to make America yeah. great again. Great from what? America is already yeah. the greatest country in the world. Do you know yeah. Donald Trump? From what? He has huh? ancestry from Germany. Do you know? Hmm. His mama, right? I don't know about yeah. that. Yeah, that's what yeah. from yeah. Anyway, to support my own stance, no, okay. I'm not supporting anybody. I'm mm -hmm. just trying to pick good right. in Donald Trump. And when you look at the devil, without mm -hmm. the devil, that's a good comparison. You will not appreciate, appreciate God. Mm -hmm. okay. that's if you're in an airplane and he's flying, you are enjoying your wine and everything. That yeah. is not glorified. When the troubles hit, oh Jesus! Oh. Everybody remembers oh. God. Okay. Donald Trump is doing America good mm -hmm. because the real politicians need to pick the good that is coming out of this mm. to make America great. I agree. Hmm. Now the real politicians, no, it's all <laughs> evil. Um, evil is real, and uh, Donald Trump is a part. Of that evil, so we have to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, before we go to the next topic, uh, now, part of the, did anybody have any last words on this? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Now, I'm, I'm sure most of you saw the Oscars. You know, yeah. there was a general uh, call to boycott the Oscars by Will and Will, not Will, uh, Jada Pinkett, which who's uh, Will Smith's wife. So I'm guessing Will is also on board with that, you know? Yeah. yeah so, so, um, I said the same. and it was a big controversy before the yeah. Oscars and the Oscars came and our host was Chris Rock. I think Chris Rock was really rocking the Oscar. He really yeah. rocked it, I think. So what do you <laughs> yeah. guys think about that? Well, oh, you want to at yeah. least... I have something to say on that. <laughs> I, um, I'm guilty. I didn't watch the Oscars, okay. but I did see bits and pieces of it. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, Chris Rock, he got a lot of backlash about it. But honestly, I think he was in the right because... How could he not say anything about what you think? Well, how could he not go on with it without saying anything? Mm -hmm. He made light of it. And to be honest with you, I totally support what he's saying because there's so many things in this world that we could be upset about. And that was not one of the things that we could be upset about. Mm -hmm. To me, I feel like when you have money, you tend to think forget what it's like to be like a regular person. Mm. Um, even if you started from the bottom and mm. you made it to the top, you tend to forget what it's like. And to be honest with you, the people at the bottom are not thinking anything about what they're thinking about. Uh, they're the ISIS, they're cutting people's heads off right now. Mm -hmm. We should be more upset with that than what she was talking about. Jada brought up that I understand what she was trying to do. She was trying to defend the black culture and mm -hmm. say that, oh, they're not they're not voting for us. You know what, honey, there are so many other things that you can think about. We have, like Chris Rock said, there are the B2 words. I am welcoming you to the B2 words. There are <laughs> other things that we can think about wow. than this. Wow. You know, <laughs> and for you to, you have the authority to draw people in to other things. Right. And you're drawing people into the wrong thing right now. Draw people into things that mean more than this. This is not important. The awards, yes, they're great. You're, you're getting recognition for things that you've accomplished and you're wonderful, great, hallelujah, great. But there are other things in this world okay. that are more All important. right, Shay, you want to jump in? Well, you know what? Even me, you know, I know, I mean, I, I do start up comedy, you know, comedian, uh, mostly African comedian. I know how sensitive that was. Because I'm like, was it going to quit? Or was it just going to go for it? Mm -hmm. And just be excellent at it and show how awesome it is. Okay. And I'm very glad that Chris Rock took that. And uh, he nailed it. He spoke about the topics that everybody was shining from. Mm -hmm. And he did it brilliantly. I don't think anybody could have done, done it better, the wow. way he did. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing. though. There are some truths that needed to be spoken about. He talked about it. 
you know, I mean, about the opportunities in Hollywood mm -hmm. not being uh, equal, equal sure. among yeah. blacks and white. Right. And I think the greatest uh, reference he made was that between Leonardo DiCaprio, mm -hmm. who's an excellent actor, right. and Jamie, Jamie Fox, Fox correct. who I believe is the most brilliant actor in Hollywood. Wow. Jamie can sing. Jimmy can do stand up and Jimmy can act. He can right. act in drama. Right. He can yeah. act in comedy. Does he impressions can act in like everything. You know, right. this dude is multi talented. Right. Most talented man in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. He's won an Oscar. Mm -hmm. He's won a, a, a Grammy. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Very right. few people, you know, right. have done that. So, and he said they don't get equal opportunities. Mm -hmm. You understand? I wonder the role that. Uh, Leonardo nailed the Oscar it was originally meant for a black person because right. it's based off a novel mm -hmm. about a black person. Mm -hmm. Forget right. about that. Yeah. So wow. you see, this is what we're talking about. Why? Why did they give Jamie to play that role? Right. You know what I'm right. saying? And I think he did a perfect job. Right. And I also think you know, there's no way we we'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. I don't talk about Will and Jada because some people see them as um, kids who have everything, and because you deny them one thing, and mm -hmm. I'm complaining. Right. Do you understand? Right. These people have benefited a lot from Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So for you to not say well, everybody should boycott because right. some things are not happening for you, it's like being selfish. Some people are just starting their career. You 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 think if they are invited for the Oscars, I would say because Will or Jada said I shouldn't go, I wouldn't go. <laughs> oh no, Will did the same thing on the set of uh uh, uh what's that? Fresh, Fresh Prince. Prince. <laughs> you know that's why uh, Jada got no the, the lady that uh, the, the mom you know that oh, was kicked up. Uh, that's why she was coming that when we right. said let's come together right. and ask for a prayer I was like no I got my contract you got yours wow. and it's the same way so because things are not favor you that you want now I know everybody should buy a car but uh, no 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 people are like like ah, you got yours you 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 had a movie that made uh, half a billion mm -hmm. a karate kid right. you know what I'm saying right you know what I'm saying so you now want me to uh, boycott because uh, you were uh, a snub for the Oscars. That ain't happening, you know. So that's why it is. Wow. I think just Chris wow. did the same thing. Yes, he he made life. He, he did the right thing. He had to. Okay. He had to. All right. Yeah, and he had to talk about women. Yeah. I think that um, <laughs> it's interesting that you know I I did see this the monologue did not mm -hmm. um, watch the Oscars it was not boycott and it's when you're in the industry you need to you know, keep your enemies closer. Like, why am I gonna, you know what I mean? Like, let right. me see what you guys are doing, what y'all talking about and who's winning and doing what and making those moves and stuff. So it was just other reason why I didn't see it, but I did see the, the monologue. And um, I'm like, Hollywood, you knew what you were doing. Were you really gonna like, you know, it's already an issue. There's no black nominees. Were you really not gonna have a black host? Where it's like, well, you know what? Like you said, they're, ra they're you know, are they racist? Hell yeah, but they're sorority racist. So let's cover our ass <laughs> and let's bring up the black guy, but not too black. Not like, too black. You know, but I mean, wow. he has dark skin and whatever wow. like that, but wow. not, you know, but, and I think that he, and I'm so glad that he, Chris Rock, did not back down off of that mm -hmm. because I feel like he so cleverly touched on the subject i mean hit the not even touched on hit them smack in the face put you on blast like um um viola davis, viola davis viola, yeah. yeah put you on blast just like that but then because like we we were talking about earlier that this this monologue could have made or bro broken, broken his man. career right, right. so it's like are y'all racist hell yeah mm. like a sorority you know and they're like oh, right, wait, right. did he just i don't oh, no he's right. good he's good you know what i mean <laughs> so it's like we're putting it on wow. blast because because also hollywood lives in this little like bubble. this little bubble mm -hmm. so it's like when she's like boycott and stuff like that, okay, I get it, Jada, about boycotting. But like I said, I think we he should have taken it on like he did, so that the other people in the, that's you know watching these movies that's really paying you know the money as well too, because it's like Jada, you're talking about boycotting, but yet as far as like you have the Emmys, all that kind of stuff, like who's actually paying your check? Right. You know, with as far as the huge networks and stuff like right. that or whatever. And it's like, I'm to totally for you supporting your guy and mm -hmm. everything like that or whatever, that's fine. But um, I think that it was just very well played, c cleverly done, got his point across. But had he boycotted Chris Rock, I mean, Kevin Hart would have gotten the job, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they would have given it to I white still, I, still, I still don't think that they would have done that. Yeah. I still think they would have given it to probably Kevin Hart because he's the, you know, right. you're the, the big the black actor black right face. now, yeah. right? But I still do not think that Kevin Hart would have, would have done, no, would have been no, so no, elegant. That's what you're yeah, saying. That Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Hart is not on that level. intellectual level. Yeah. Right. So that's an intellectual. So 
intellectual wow. comedy he did right wow. there. And then okay. it was just interesting. Like, I mean, he did say he wasn't invited, but I was like, well, she didn't do any movies. I mean, like, who the people? <laughs> I mean, and by, I mean, you really wow. weren't, but you know, like that. But you know, that's say, like, isn't she on the TV show? Yeah, saying She's like the the black Rocky for the Creed, but it's but at the very end of the day, it's like like both of them are saying it's not even like it's about giving us and having the opportunity. opportunity you know, yeah. uh, they're like, oh hell no, will there ever be a black 007? Mm. Yeah. That's a main, you know, for it to even be how much Rocky is a legend for that to be, you know, there was right. a controversy because now there's a black person for um this uh, Star, for Star Wars. Wars, you know, mm. huge thing. But it's like if you would give the opportunity, not like the once in the blue moon where um I can't even remember who, um gosh, somebody had won an Oscar, like a black actress had won an Oscar. Mm -hmm. And after that Oscar, like no didn't have anything right. for, they wouldn't right. even give her any right. opportunities right. for like, Monique, long time. What? Monique. Was it Monique? Yeah, it was Monique. She was blacklisted. Yeah. She was blacklisted. But Monique's case was totally different. different. Yeah. I heard the that's story. Her, yeah. I, but like, that would be another statement. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's all I was like, oh, that was her. Like, that's a whole other thing. Okay, Mr. Mike. Yeah, um, for me, mm -hmm. as an uh, event, event host mm -hmm. and a comedian, I think um, Chris Rock did what he was supposed to do. Okay. It's a hard job, like my brother said, it's hard. But um, he did what he was supposed to do. And uh, I also hear Jada, okay? What Jada said, I hear, I hear her loud and clear. It takes somebody to make that comment. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been 88 times. Mm -hmm. And somebody got to speak up. Now, it's a sensation. Everybody's talking about it because Jenna took the position she took. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying, oh, everybody should not go to the event because mm -hmm. she said so. But she made that comment. She was resolute with her comment. And for me, I appreciate that somebody talked about it. Mm. And honestly, people, even the white controlling Hollywood people, began to respond to what she said. Right. They began to make responses. And here it is. The next Oscar, you're going to see what's going to happen. Mm. But the Oscar organizers also made the right choice by choosing Chris Rock. They did not choose Kanye so, West. Well, no, 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 thing, no. Chris well, Rock had Chris been, been chosen down. before the Even before his nomination. Became, you know, no. So it wasn't because he was trying to compensate black people right. that they chose yeah. Chris Rock. No, no. He'd already been pestered down no, almost right. a year before. before. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, we're not saying but anything different. But he was perfect for that. We're not saying anything different. I am not saying, of course, not after Jada that Chris Cross, Chris Cross came to the light. No, Rock. Chris Cross Rock. has been Chris Rock. Chris Rock, Rock has been taken to do the job. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, and I insist, they took the right person to do the job. Okay, because it's yes, happened now. yes, okay. it's coincidental. Right. Yes, coincidentally, they took the right person because, hey, like we said. Um, Taking Kenya West to do the job. Kenya is not. Oh, ah, Eddie Murphy ah, would have done a good job. Now, Eddie Murphy would have done a good job, but Eddie Murphy, I don't know if position. you would want to come out but now to do this. But you needed to come up. You need a comedic aspect of you of the whole situation because the whole situation was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. No, what I'm saying it is ridiculous, and you needed some. Even, even, I just thought it was even, hilarious that he even, just said. Do y'all think this is the first time? This is the 88th. I was like, right. no, you know, we weren't in any exactly. movies in the 50s, 60s, okay. whatever. Right. Not that we, I mean, there's other issues or whatever like that. But like I said, I'm just glad that Hollywood was put on blast mm -hmm. of if you guys would allow and opportunities, whether they do or not, yes. you know, at least okay. in the public. That's, that's what yes. I was trying to air yeah. out. I if said, Chris that. Rock is a good example, uh, the good person to do this job. When you go back and look at his works, mm -hmm. You know he can handle this. Okay, he's handled things, you know, similar he to this and situations you. like this very well. Yeah. So him doing this, nobody could have done it better. Okay, honestly, but he even after you. even after Jeddah, what Jeddah did, nobody could have gone ahead and did it like Chris. But Martin. it would have been weird if he had not acknowledged the point. point. If he had not said anything about it and just did the whole awards no, no, without no, no, no. making mm -hmm. fun of it. It'd have been weird. True. Exactly. You true. had okay. to do it. All right. Can All right. We had to. Ma, did you want to say something real quick? Yeah, I think I think that was uh, Donald Trump's of uh, Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not really. really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care. Who is Trump's opponent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he said it like he's supposed to. Anyway, anyway, uh, like like Nikki said, I didn't watch the Oscars, and it wasn't because I was trying to boycott. No, I went to a mini uh, Nikki Minaj concert. Oh, you've been going, Nikki Minaj. You've been going, Nikki Minaj. Well, I'm 
Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 before all those things. So funny enough, funny enough, when I watched the, the when I watched the uh, monologue, because I, I, I had to replay the rerun, I had to rewatch the whole show. I had to watch Chris Rock's monologue like four or five times back to back. I was like, I did the same O M G. Yeah. You know, I didn't go. Not because I was boycotting, but I wasn't invited. If I was invited to that Oscar, so you were like hey, Jada. Yeah, I'll be the first. <laughs> exactly, I was like Jada. I was not invited. <laughs> Anyways, Chris did an amazing job. Amazing. I think. Very oh, awesome. 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 Can I Very speak upon it? I, I honestly. I wasn't think... finished, but go ahead. You were so passionate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't really get to speak upon it, okay. but okay. I honestly think he did an amazing job. I think it was an embarrassing moment and he made light of it True. and i think that people need to just like really give him a break uh -huh. because he made light of it there's no way he could host something like that after all this controversy True. 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 you know what i mean so honestly i give props to him and what he did and i think he there's nothing yeah, yeah bad well, to say about him. Okay, I think he he did good. Excellent. He did good. I maybe he might have went a little overboard. He might have kept pushing. No, it. I think he, he, he was right on point. Like I think it was right on point. This was right on point. point. Well, <laughs> he, it was, he he did good push him in well, summary, <laughs> in summary, I'll say that. I'll say that. What happened happened for a reason and the timeliness of it was perfect. Like Mike, like you said, Chris was the perfect host that happened in the controversial time and it was just destiny. Because had it not been Chris, only God knew, knows how what would have come out of that whole thing. Yeah. So it's all destiny. So my thing is, life just sometimes, you know, no matter how much you keep pushing a race, a certain race of people, you know, there's still a divine power that kind of somehow makes things work Perfect. out in your favor. Mm -hmm. So that was, it was, Chris did an amazing job. Amazing. An amazing job. Awesome. And, and I don't think his career is going, like some people are saying, that his career is going nah, nah, man. Nah, he's not going to get you. Did you guys see him call out um, Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> Why was, there was a point. <laughs> but, but you know what? If Steve Harvey's career is not going down, how can Chris Rocks go down? Steve, Steve Harvey got, got, got some commercial. Uh, <laughs> no, Chris Rock, keep it real. All right. Who wants to summarize next? Um, uh, I, I, I believe in this guy and the Korean Korean guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You believe in me? I believe in All right. Him. Okay. All right. Because you believe in me, I'm not gonna boycott the Oscars next year. <laughs> Cause I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna be invited. You are gonna be invited, wow. Watch out for me, man. Brown sugar on the red carpet. I just think um, in summary with things that um, I'm glad that we're finally, well not finally, but I'm glad we're definitely, um, powerhouses are actually speaking up in the media yeah, now. Like it's, I mean, presidential things are crazy and all this other stuff or whatever, but it's like, who put, you know, this is now two award shows of Hollywood being put on blast by powerhouses, mm. which is absolutely amazing. I think that we are definitely taking, you know, we're definitely rising up and taking the steps and that we do have a Shonda Rhimes out there that's doing, right, we right. just got appointed, please don't quote me on the name, but the first black for ABC, the um, uh, for her to be, uh, to own, oh, I mean, you know, to, to yeah, for, for ABC for, and stuff right. like that. So I'm like, that's, for first time in history for the network, right, you know. Right, right. So it's like, don't sleep because we're, you know, we're coming of, at it, you know. Yes. So that's Amen, all. Sister. Mike, yeah, I just say um, 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 Jada and people like Jada have I just begun to say something that um, Spike Lee has been saying for a long time. You know, so it's good that this is happening because this brings spice hmm. to the Hollywood situation. You know, spice to say makes it better. Mm -hmm. So. Um, would I watch the Oscar next time? Yes, I would. Did I watch the last Oscar? Yes, I did. <laughs> would I watch it again? Yes, I would. So all I'm saying is, we hear Jenna. And I think the Oscar Hollywood people also hear Jenna. Mm -hmm. So let's not continue to put ourselves down. Mm -hmm. You know, we can hear each other. And I salute Chris for his job. Mm -hmm. I salute Chris. Yes. Um, um, Elise? Yeah, then. I just want to say... Uh, <laughs> Let's not concentrate so much on the little things mm -hmm. and let's yeah, focus on the big things. Exactly. That's what, what you just wow. said. Let's just focus on the talent, 
And now let's, let's not separate each other from what's the real talent. We don't need to do that. You know what's an interesting point, and I know we're wrapping up and stuff right. like that. Right. Okay, so like we were saying, Jay-Z, Beyonce is one of the powerhouses, right? <laughs> Will and Jay is a huge powerhouse and tons of money, all that kind of stuff, right? So why not also be a part of the solution? Mm -hmm. So I do believe there they have a production company or something yep. like that, right? Yeah. So then why not create the 007s, Amen. the Creed's, the yes. Batman versus Spider-Man, you know, the first yes. black uh, superhero, which was Will Smith. Amen. But you know what I mean? Why not create those like Queen Latifah right. yes. is now doing with her production company or whatever, yes. you know? And why not create that? It doesn't necessarily have to be True. an all black cast, whatever. Because imagine if it was the Superman versus Batman, exactly. and it was Bat. You know what I mean? Right. It we, has even we more need to stop. Wow. I was we just need, like, we need to just stop. Call to action, Will and Jada. Just say, honestly, I'm available. Oh, oh. Brooks production. Honestly, oh. we need to stop all of this uh, separation. We need to stop this separation. Okay. It's a talent. It's, it's a Yeah, it's let the talent gift. speak and not we, just the color. Exactly. We speak. need to stop thinking about what the color is. And by Jada doing that, we are separating ourselves. So we need to not. We, it's okay. a new age. It's All a right. new time. Thanks. Let's stop doing that and let's move forward. Beautiful. That's what I'm saying. Um, I think you kind of made the points I was going to make. Oh. But, <laughs> yeah, but uh, the thing is, uh, uh, he was the sacrificial love that God used to bring light okay. and to help. Who? Black Jada? Community. I mean, I'm talking about um, Chris. Chris, 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 no, Chris, no, Chris. Chris himself? Yes. He's the yeah. sacrificial lamb? Because what he, be okay. no, no, what he said, he, he opened up to say things that nobody wanted to say. Mm -hmm. okay. And those things right. that he said, is resonating. Everybody is talking about it right True. now. You're going to see what will happen. Next, Oscar. next year, yeah. They want to make sure that black people are represented. So those are the things, the doors that he has opened. Uh, uh, you understand what I'm saying? And I think so, it's high time black black will start, you know, their own production. Yes. We so I, I, I totally production. agree that if we follow that line, right we're going to get a needed break. Yes. So yes. comedians, right. don't feel, <laughs> don't feel uh, relax whenever you're doing your work. Just. See what we keep grinding, man. We keep grinding. <laughs> all right, all right. And I know Elise is doing some production, so you can hire, hire doing, your fellow um, thespians here. I'm doing the faith based. I'm I know both sides. I'm half white. I'm half black. So I know both sides. Same with me, huh? Mm -hmm. You half are not. I'm half of my suit. 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 You're half dark and half dark black. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But I do understand both sides of the spectrum. I understand both sides. And I'm not trying to pick both sides, but I am trying to do faith based. And God loves us. And we're, okay. We're oh, all right. Thank you. And, right. and while we're speaking of that, not just black people, we have Asian actors and actresses. Exactly. We have Latinos and yeah. Latinas. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Amen, Amen brother. brother. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. This panel, can yeah. we give ourselves a round of applause? This has been an amazing <laughs> conversation. Conversation. All right. Please follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube. Like us, Instagram, social media. We have very, very interesting topics coming for you guys. The next topic to look out for is there was a male dancer in a Miami Heat uh, dance on audition, a Miami cheerleading squad. You know, they had an audition. There was a male dancer that made it, you know, to like the third round, Keith Wilson. So that, that was controversial. Should a male dancer be part of a cheerleading team, um, dance group for an NBA team. That would be our next topic. So keep watching our, our show and subscribe. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is, it, is it biologically deformed? No, he's a male, he's a, I guess he's a... He and I'm from, I'm, 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 I'm He's not a transvestite, not he's a, trans, a guy. No, not that trans. Um, Cross-dresser? No, what's that thing? I would like to... I know, uh, look, I like you <laughs> Why are you asking me? Oh, is he? Is he? Is he? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Male, female. Yeah, together. Oh, how much? How much for Well, be, stay tuned to see that on our next show. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying no to it. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. But wait, 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 wait! Oh, yeah. You get the drinks, yeah. coffee now. Yes. At least, thank you, friend.